Hi, Bernie Valley. As you can see, I have a gentleman uh, with a beret on. He's actually an artist, and it's uh, David Wolf. He's the president of LVA, uh, an art association here in Cottonwood. They're having a big day over here in Old Town Cottonwood, and they're uh, having a lot of artists here to showcase their art. And um, I wanted to find out from uh, from David. Um, I guess you've been a, you've been an artist all your life, David. Yes, I've been involved all my life. So you have a great love for art. Art is my life. It's my passion. It's, yeah, it's what I do. That's what you do. I mean, you you actually been able to do that and make a living at it. Yes, I've been a professional artist for 30 years. Well, that's fantastic. You know, it's it's good to hear those good stories once in a while because I, I I talk to a lot of struggling artists too. You know, and there's a lot of them out there. You know, but they try to make art their, their livelihood, but it's hard. You know, it's really hard. But you're you're now a head of an association and, and a group of 50 or so artists, and y'all benefit each other. How so? How do you work? How do you work together? We uh, have opened up the association um, where where our main focus is doing our art and getting our art out to the public. Um, the association also is a is a charitable organization. We have a 501c3, so uh, we uh, make contributions, and our focus is also education for the arts in the Verde Valley with the schools, uh, all, all ages, um, all s segments of our society. You know, I, I think I'll come over there with you, David, and a little bit, maybe show me some of your art. But uh, your art here is uh, quite unique. I understand this is a large commission by some restaurant. This piece was commissioned by Pizza Picasso of Sedona. And they also have stores in uh, Scottsdale, Mesa, Tempe. And this spring, they're opening one in Flagstaff. And this particular piece, this piece is going up in Flagstaff uh, at their new store. It'll be an outside piece. No, it really doesn't. It probably weighs 65, 70 pounds, somewhere in there, yeah. I, I have a lot of mesh worked into it to, to help lighten it up. Yes. I'm working with uh, stonework clay primarily. Uh, I do some mid-range uh, clay work. Um, I fire most of my work in a gas kiln, but uh, some of the mid-range stuff, things I'm using in, uh, uh, in a gas kiln. Uh -huh. And then I also do some uh, wood-fired saltware. Oh, yeah. So, uh, d depending on my my vision at the moment, what I want to do with a certain piece, I'll, I'll glaze it and fire it in a in a gas kiln, or I'll fire up the wood kiln. Is that yours on the floor too? This is mine here too. Hmm. Yes, sir. That's a nice big piece. But that's also a, a, a commission piece that's going in a home. the 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 owner is building this home in Sedona himself. Uh, he's doing a lot of hand carving of the wood, and he's into Maya oh, yeah? and old Mexican uh, themes. So uh, I've been working with him on s some of the pieces for his home. So you guys kind of you guys you kind of partnership with Old Town this time, your association in Old Town, and, 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 and got together and, and did this event. This is actually the first time you're doing this event. You had mentioned. And yes. it worked pretty smoothly, huh? Yes, this is the first time uh, the Old Town Association had an art walk last spring that was very successful. And then they invited us to uh, bring our sh right show into the uh, Civic Center here. Uh -huh. And uh, we, as artists, we tried 
to do this show as if it was a creation of art. The, 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 the we just let the, we allowed the creative process to, to let it evolve. So we didn't have any planning meetings. We did some emailing, some phone calling, uh, and everyone showed up. And it was it was really a pleasure to watch everyone come in and just the. Uh, placement of things, the, the show itself just evolved from everybody having a free reign with their creativity. And That's kind of unheard of, really, but it's really, really great. Maybe maybe they can sh show sh show rest of the world. <laughs> the world has so many problems. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, you know, like the creative uh, process. Yes, I, I fully support that. I, I personally experience many many good ideas breaking down and falling apart in committee mm. and so uh well you have the personalities the y'all the all the great terrain in, in committees a lot of times you have pulling hair you know sometimes they work sometimes they don't so we we had a we had a sketch of a uh, plan but we left we left a lot of things open so art could happen so creativity could happen yeah exactly who are some of the other people involved in your association that you want to mention? Some of the other artists in here. Well, I'd like to um, mention Elizabeth Gerstner. Her back is turned to us right now. She's she's vice president of the organization, mm -hmm. and uh, she works with Clay. Um, we have Michael and Crystal Turner over there. He's working glass, and he's working. He's getting some really exciting work now in mylar, and he's he's actually. Using that in light, light becomes his medium as well. And then there's Joan Bork down at the end. I'd like to mention her. Um, she does a lot of work with children in the schools. Oh yeah. And her her work is down. I don't know if you can pan the camera over to her, but she's down there. Um, Carl Campio is around the corner here with his uh, with his copper jewelry. Um, oh and. You know, everybody always talks about, I'm talking about your politicians, of how important the arts are, but they never give a whole lot of funding to the arts. That's kind of a contradiction. Maybe it will change in the future. Well, we're, we're hoping, and what our organization is doing, we, a few years ago, our, our members uh, uh, got a 501c3, mm -hmm. and so with that we can... Uh, we can take in funds and then give funds out. We, we uh, have given in the past scholarships, and we're we're reviving that program. Uh, we'd like to uh, you know if, we'd uh, like to send some some high school kids on to college with uh, with yeah. a little acknowledgement of, of that's fantastic. That they've made that's a career change. Uh, Maybe career in the choice. future we'll change some of the, some of the concepts of this society. You know. But is there, if, if people want to get a hold of you in your association or want to get a hold of you personally, do you have a phone number or an address or an e email or something that they can call you and get a hold of you? Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll give you 928-821-3747, um, and from that number we can direct you to other members and, and to, our, to our different programs. How many members do you have? We have... Before this show, we had 83 members, wow. and in the process of people applying for this show, uh, I know we've gained probably 10 more members, Just uh, and wh what we did there, we don't have membership drives anymore. We, uh, we opened up the idea that attraction is a lot better than so if we have something worthwhile, people will be attracted and they will join, and that's that's what we're looking for. Oh, great, great. Maybe in the future, too, um, myself and I have an arts TV show, TV program. Maybe we can benefit each other in the future somehow. I don't know what exactly here, but uh, I'm going to let you go for now and get some other people artists on here. Well, thank you. And uh, as you can see, Birdie Valley has...